what is going on guys I got package today sitting on the porch in a rickety ripped up cardboard box so I'm gonna be unboxing this for you guys today I'm gonna bring it down in the workout room and show you so this is a kettlebell Oh man, it comes with an exercise guide too, and a cleaning guide, just in case you gotta clean the thing. Nice. Alright. Oh. Holy hell, that thing is heavy. <laughs> so, in case you guys didn't get it from the video, this is called the Beast Kettlebell. This is a 106 pound kettlebell from North Lifting. I was gonna order from Rogue, but the Nordic lifting one actually actually is quite a bit more expensive. It was like I think $65 more expensive, but it had free shipping. And the Rogue one shipping was over $75, I think. So in the end, it ended up being cheaper, probably about the same quality. It looks like it. Um, so I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this cardboard recycled. I'm gonna bring this down in the workout room, and I'll show you guys the ins and outs of it. All right, guys, I just finished a workout. Uh, got my new kettlebell here, Nordic Lifting. It's kind of dark here, it's kind of shady, but it says Nordic Lifting right here. Um, very nice kettlebell, no flaws or defects in it. Uh, it's got the little color coding here, just in case you have some other ones, you know which one is which, although it's hard to miss. It's the biggest one they make, I believe. So, handle's great. Um, it has, it doesn't have knurling, but it is a little, Kind of textured, you know, this powder coating kind of has spots where it's thicker and thinner. So it uh, really gives you a pretty good grip on there, even when your hands are sweaty. And I'm comparing this to my 88 pound Rogue Fitness kettlebell, which I was going to go with the Rogue Fitness 106 pound one, but this Nordic lifting one was just a little bit cheaper. It was actually more expensive, but it's free shipping on Amazon. And the Rogue one was, I think $65 or something or $60 cheaper but the shipping was like $70. And with taxes and everything, this one ended up being 10 or $15 cheaper than, a, than the same size Rogue Fitness one. And then with the Amazon credit card, I got 5% cash back. So that's another 10 bucks in my pocket. So um, this, the Rogue one is a little bit more textured. This one is a little bit more smooth. But aside from that, they're very, very similar. Uh, very nice kettlebell. The thing is absolutely massive. So if you are somebody who is kind of new to fitness, uh, I, I definitely would buy a smaller one before that, probably like a 44 pound one, 16 uh, or 20, 20 kilo or 16 kilo, which is like 35 pounds. I'd probably start with those ones, maybe 24 kilo. If you're starting pretty strong, you're a bigger guy. But this one, 106 pounder, it's, I'm mainly gonna be using it for kettlebell swings and it is heavy as hell for doing swings um, it's also worked pretty well for doing like some uh, isometric lunge holds and stuff like that and even just lifting and holding on it is a really good grip workout um, there's a few other things I'll be doing with it I did today I did some uh, single leg squats with this and a sandbag on my shoulder, so I'll show you that right here. And then besides that, um, I can barely even clean this thing. I need to have a support arm here, but... I can barely even clean the thing. Just to hold it right here is quite the workout. Obviously, I haven't used one anywhere near this heavy, so just getting used to it and getting stronger with it will definitely help that out. But if you're new to lifting or even if you're intermediate, this is probably too heavy for just about everything, unless you're just like a 240 pound dude. Um, if you're more intermediate advanced, this would be good to do for swings and some single leg work and stuff like that. Pretty much all lower body. Um, 
If you're a bigger guy, if you're super strong already, you could probably do overhead presses with it. And uh, rows, I'm sure I could do rows with it. Uh, you kind of got to cheat it a little bit, but yeah, I can do rows with it. So that's another thing you could do. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, it, it'd be nice if you're a bigger dude and you want to use this for swings and stuff and you have a wife or girlfriend or whatever who's into fitness. Um, this could be a good one for like ladies deadlifting, 106 pounds, pretty appreciable weight, especially for women who just want to shape up and stuff. They don't want to get super strong. 106 pounds for deadlifts is pretty respectable weight. Uh, you do single leg deadlifts and stuff with it. The only thing I don't like with this, doing single leg deadlifts with it, it's kind of, and this might be actually a good thing. But it's kind of difficult because you're offset loaded here, which works the hips a little bit more. I usually do single leg deadlifts with two 88 pounders, so that's 70 pounds more than this one. But since I got two of them and they balance me nicely and they don't pull me off center, it's almost easier than doing it with this. But um, as far as the kettlebell itself, for a big kettlebell like this, great price. Shipping was quick. And it was free, like I said, you're paying more for the kettlebell, but overall, the saving on the shipping is worth it. It's less money. Uh, it's a great piece. Uh, it's got a good powder coat on it, so if you're working out like a basement or a garage or whatever where it can get kind of damp, um, it'll rust kettlebells that aren't powder coated. So the powder coat is definitely a plus. And like I said, it has some pretty decent grip, even with sweaty hands. So uh, it's just an overall basic rundown on the Nordic Lifting Kettlebell. Definitely recommend this if you're looking for a 106 pounder and even if you're looking for smaller ones. Um, if they're anything like this one, they're going to be great quality. And as long as you're not dropping them on the floor, or on the handle or anything, they will last you a long time. You could do like uh, throwing them in the sand or something like that. That's a great workout too. But as long as you take pretty good care of this thing, it's going to last a long time. Obviously, it's a big hunk of iron. You know, it can take some abuse, but don't drop it onto the concrete or anything like that. So... Oh uh, yeah, if you're shopping on Amazon, if you got the Amazon card and you want to get some bonus points, the Nordic Lifting Kettlebell Series, I'd definitely look into. So hopefully you guys enjoy this little rundown. Thanks for watching and subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more home workouts and equipment reviews.